Somebody say hello. Welcome to another interesting class with your number one teacher. Our topic for today is input and output devices. When we say input devices, what do we mean? Input devices. Input devices are hardware devices that send data to a computer but align you to interact and control it. It sends data into a computer. Now let's see some examples of the input devices. You can see we have keyboard, we have microphone, we have mouse, we have webcam and a joystick. Now, these are the examples of the input device. We are not just getting the names of the input device, but also we'll be looking at the functions of the input device. How do they help the computer to work to function very well? Because they have their own function. Now, let's see the functions. The one we have here, we have the keyboard. Now, when we say the keyboard, this device is used to type data. It contains keys of alphabets, numbers, symbols, and special characters. Now, when you see the keyboard, you can see we have the alphabet. We have the numbers from 1 to 9. Then we also have some special characters like plus and minus. Then we have the mouse. Now, this is a pointing device which is used to select items on the monitor. Now, it's a pointer device. It helps to select items in the monitor. It looks like an arrow in the monitor. It helps to select items. Then we have the webcam. Say webcam. Good. This device is used to capture both still and moving image for the purpose of video. Of course, chat or computer storage. Now, it helps to capture either still or moving image now let's see the next one the next one we have is the joystick the joystick now this joystick is a pointed device which is used to play games now if you want to play games in your computer you get the joystick you connect it to your computer and you use it to play games now let's see the other one we have the scanner this device is used to digitize documents. When we say digitize document, it means it helps us to get information from an art copy to a computer. That's the work of the scanner. Now, let's see the microphone. This device is mainly used for speaking and recording. Now, if I want to speak, in the computer i simply use the microphone even if i want to record i also use my microphone it is used for speaking and recording now let's move to the output devices an output device is a piece of computer hardware that receives data from a computer and translates that data into another form that form may be audio visual or add copies such as printed documents. Now, an output device is just an opposite of the input device. Now, let's see some examples of the output device. You can see we have the projector, we had the headphone, we have the printer, we also have the monitor, we have the pluta, then we have the speaker. These things that I've mentioned, we'll be looking at the functions. Now, let's see the functions of the output device. First, we have to monitor. This device is used to display all, process, all processes by the system. It is like the television, which allows us to view visuals of channels on a satellite network like DSTV. Now, it's just like a television. The other one we have is the printer. This device is used to produce information from the computer to add copy 
form. Now, if we want to got, get an information from a computer, we simply use the printer to get an information from a computer. We then we put it on hard copy. That's the work of the printer. Then we have the projector. This device is used to cast both still and moving pictures on a surface. Now, this projector helps us to cast both still and moving pictures on a surface. You can easily use it to see pictures and videos. Then we have the speakers. Yay! This device is used to play or produce other sounds from the computer system. Maybe, for example, you're watching a video in the computer. You need a speaker. If there's no speaker, the, the video will not be audible for you to hear. So we need a speaker. It's question time. Yay, yay, yay. Now the first question we have here is identify the material. Is it the projector, the webcam, the keyboard, or the headphone? Good. The picture you're saying is known as the head. Phone. Yay! Now let's go to the next question. Identify the material. Mm, this material actually has numbers in alphabet. Is it a monitor, a mouse, a keyboard, or speaker? Good! It's a keyboard because keyboard have alphabets. Now let's see the last question. This is a pluter. It is is this an attribute device yes no maybe or never good is an attribute device because it receives information from the computer it's time to say goodbye yay i know you enjoyed this lesson and i can't wait to see you in my next class bye <laughs>